Worker productivity rebounded sharply in the third quarter to its best level in two years, and some economists say we'll need to see more of that if the economy is to continue its expansion. Steve Leisman, explain. If President-elect Donald Trump will succeed at delivering higher growth, he's going to have to boost the nation's sagging productivity. And economists warn that's no easy task. There's really only two parts that go into growth, how much the nation works and how efficiently it works. And how much it works, that's governed mostly by labor force growth, and that's on the decline. So we just have slower growth in the labor force. The baby boom is entering the retirement phase, so we're going to have slower growth in, in the number of people working. So that leaves growth and productivity to boost growth, and it has been sluggish. Even after a third quarter surge of 3.1 percent, year-over-year gains in the nation's productivity were flat compared to a year ago. Since 2007, productivity is up just 1.3 percent on average each year. That's half the growth rate from before the recession. Economists debate where the productivity went and how to get it back. Some, including those advising Mr. Trump, point to overregulation and say productivity growth can be brought back by getting rid of all those rules on the books. Others point to a lack of capital spending that resulted from the Great Recession. Workers haven't been given the machines to increase their efficiency. So a rebound in business investment could boost productivity. Government spending on roads and bridges is another area to look at. Let's imagine that we had a lot of fiscal spending on infrastructure. Mm -hmm. uh, more spending on infrastructure would actually increase the productive capacity of the economy. It uh, would, would resolve bottlenecks. But all of that only gets you so far. To really amp up productivity and growth, you need whiz-bang technology. Despite more and more computers and cell phones and circuitry and sensors, the evidence so far is none of it is, well, whiz-banging enough, at least not yet, to meaningfully move the needle on productivity. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Steve Leisman.